Nike is providing specially designed athletic shoes to healthcare workers in the United States and Europe. The Air Zoom Pulse is made of a material that is easy to clean and can be worn for long shifts. They will soon be distributed to hospitals in the hardest hit cities, including Chicago, Los Angeles, and New York. In addition to the footwear, Nike has also provided more than 290,000 pieces of personal protective equipment and 250,000 disposable face masks to hospitals across the United States. New York City Hospital nurse Danielle Conti was arrested yesterday after supposedly stealing a dying coronavirus patient's credit card and using it for gas and to buy groceries. She is now facing charges of grand larceny, petty larceny, and criminal possession of stolen property. She was released and was issued an appearance ticket yesterday. Anthony Catapano died of COVID-19 on April 12th at Staten Island University Hospital, where Conti worked. His daughter, Tara Catapano, had gotten her father's bank statement from American Express after his death, which showed gas and grocery charges made while he was in the hospital. She then filed for a police statement, which led to the arrest. Staten Island University Hospital has said that Conti has been temporarily suspended and faces termination. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The Salvation Army in North Syracuse will not be reopening after the coronavirus pandemic. The store was already not meeting company-wide expectations. The coronavirus has added additional financial pressures that forced the company to close the store. Employees will be offered positions at other surrounding stores. Not sure who exactly that would be, but probably a famous chef that could cook me lots of delicious food. I'm going with Lady Gaga. Musical, actress, you know, keep it fun and entertaining. Um, who would I like to be quarantined with as far as famous people? Um, maybe Brad Pitt? Uh, one of the famous people I'd like to have with me in quarantine is actually not living anymore, so I don't know if he could actually join us, um, but it's Michael Crichton. He's an author, and he does an awful lot of research to make his stories really believable, so it would be cool to have him around and get to pick his brain a little bit. That's simple. That's my girl, Beyonce. Yes, go crazy right now. Most incredibly, it's your girl. Uh-oh, uh I gotta stop it. A hairstylist? Mm, Keenan Thompson would crack me up. That's a celebrity for you. Bon Jovi. Whoa, we're halfway there. Whoa, living on a prayer. I think it would be Elton John because we could always have a impromptu sing-along and he seems like he'd be a lot of fun and He's got a lot of expensive toys and stuff. We'd, we'd hang out. We'd have a good time. Give me like Bill Belichick and Nick Saban and I'll get a free football clinic, I guess, out of it. Hands down, it would be Mrs. Becky Wenner. She would help walk me through fixing my technological glitches and yours and bring a sense of peace to my workday. If I had to be quarantined with one famous person, I think I would pick any celebrity chef. I don't know any celebrity chefs because I don't cook, but I don't like cooking. And I'm so sick of cooking that I need someone to cook for me. So celebrity chef. Good morning. Today is Friday and we have a high of 48 and a low of 23 today so it's gonna stay pretty chilly all day but we will have some spots of sun here and there and there's not a big chance of rain today uh, Saturday and Sunday remain about the same they're gonna get up to maybe the mid 50s it's not gonna be that warm this weekend sadly and all under next week it's also gonna be around the same temperature so high 40s mid 50s Monday and Tuesday have chances of rain but Wednesday we're gonna get some spots of sun which is good news and it'll get up to about 55 that day and the warmest day next week is gonna be Friday when it gets up to about 65 which is good because I hope it starts getting warmer and we can get outside and get some fresh air I know I'm really looking forward to it because we just got another puppy so we're really excited about that and it's a lot easier to 
train when you're able to get out and get some fresh air when it's nice out. So, hope everyone's staying safe, and I'm Bella with your weather. Good morning, ESM. Hey, Uncle Richie here, here with Fist Pump Friday back in the basement, yes. Okay, and uh, just telling you, keep up the good work. You're working hard. Don't get frustrated. Hey, yesterday's history, tomorrow's a mystery. All we have is today. So keep working it hard and uh, do do your work, stay on top of things. But yes, we have some fist pumps, and I have a special guest appearance today, as you will see once uh, we commence. Okay, uh, first of all, we have uh, Mr. Burgess giving a fist pump to Grace Kakamo. Entertaining, fun video, and beautiful singing video. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Next, we have Miss Russo uh, for Connor Jacobs. Great job on your ceramic project. Yeah. <laughs> it's my uh, youngest, uh, Olivia. Uh, couldn't get my senior up. Surprise, surprise. Okay. Uh, next, I have Cassidy Sheftick from Miss Russo. Great job on your ceramic project. Dollar store. <laughs> It's a fan now, okay? What do you make of this? It's a high five. That's what I'll do. High five, okay? Here we go. Next, we got uh, Tom Chick from um, Shay. Uh, great job, Tom, keeping up your work, even though uh, the going gets tough. Good job! High five. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Ooh. Next, we have Isabella Bufus from Miss Russo. Great job on your ceramic project. Woo! Hey. Uh, next, we have Miss Russo and Natalie Peterson. Great job on your ceramic project. Woo! And finally, we have Isabella. No, we have a few. Sorry. Oh, Liv, Liv, I hope you're warmed up here. Hey. Uh, next, we have uh, Isabella Sendifus, great job on your ceramic project from Miss Russo. Next we have Zoe Nickerson, Nixon from uh, Miss Brooks. Great job completing your classwork, overcoming challenges of remote learning. Woo! Hey, uh, next we have Bella Sylvester. Great job on your ceramic projects. Woo! And then finally, uh, Miss Alexander to Anthony Lupini. Great job getting all your work done and asking for help whenever you need it. Woo! Okay, big hand for Olivia. Great job. Hey, uh, ESM, we love you. Seniors, we'll be seeing you soon. Can't wait to see you. Richie loves you. Baltimore Ravens free safety Earl Thomas was confronted by his wife with a loaded gun. His wife Nina Thomas was arrested and she stated that she confronted him because she thought he was cheating on him. Earl wasn't harmed at all. Class of 2021 three star wide receiver Kendall Long committed to Syracuse this past weekend. Another commitment was Derek McDonald who was a defensive end. He also received offers from Georgia Louisville in Wisconsin. With these two commits, SU now has seven commits with five being on defense for the 2021 season. I'm Chris with Sports.